We have a great treat for you now. A walk on the wild side in the plains of Africa with two men living among the African lions. Primetime's Jay Shadler went to Africa to see how far these animal lovers will go to protect the kings of the jungle. Only you. Only me. Well, you would have loved this story. You would really have loved this story. This is about very big things, about big animals. It's about big uh, land, big ideas, saving the lions. But at its core, it's, you know, if you're an animal lover, you're going to love the hour. If uh, you think human beings are crazy, uh, we give you a lot of ammunition to support that idea. And at the bottom, it's all about two men who are treading a very, very thin line between courage and hubris. In the midday heat, a pride of lions nap under a rose tree. But look and listen closely. There's a homo sapien in short pants snoozing in there too. That's, for me, true acceptance. I can lie down with them. I can sleep with them. I can interact with them as if I were alive. That's Kevin Richardson, a 34-year-old South African film producer and animal lover. That was truly, <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, well, like, that, that's what happens when you integrate it into a pride. <laughs> there is, of course, a method to this madness. I don't walk into an enclosure and go, oh, today I'm going to push the boundaries of how far I can put my head in a lion's mouth. These relationships, everyone must always realize, have taken years and years and years to develop. <laughs> the relationships have developed over the past decade on Kevin's 1,800-acre sanctuary outside Johannesburg, where he nurtures the lions from birth. I was probably pretty selfish in the beginning. It was all about me. <laughs> what could I gain from it? But I soon realized that they were gaining from it too. Napoli. What they're gaining is an advocate. Though they are not wild animals, Kevin's notoriety has given him a platform to publicize the grave extinction threat now facing all of Africa's lions. Numbers have dropped uh, by, in the past decade, up to 75%. Uh, that's a staggering amount. I think the greater world does think of Africa as this big open landscape, and it's not. As humans are encroaching and animal territories are getting smaller and more defined. Which leads us a thousand miles northwest to Namibia. Here, the land and the lions are still wild. Hey. Another man has begun a dangerous experiment to keep them that way. These are definitely the most aggressive lions I've ever been out. These lions were marked for destruction because they were escaping and hunting people, so people were hunting them. Dave Salmoni is a zoologist, big cat trainer, and a host for Animal Planet. But now he's taking on a new challenge living for six months at the Arindi Game Reserve, a massive tract of land ten times the size of Manhattan. It's here Dave is attempting something unprecedented, a kind of rehabilitation of an extremely aggressive pride of wild lions. Hey! Hey! No! No! Cut it out! But these lions will need to unlearn some of their aggression toward humans if they are to survive here. Dave is testing the limits, trying to get closer with every encounter. What you think? You a good boy? Good boy. It's a game of inches and claws. Hey, no! 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 no. Hey! 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 No! I mean, it looks laughable in some ways. not, though. Very serious business going on out there. This was an especially aggressive pride, and he's trying to make them enough uh, habituated to humans so that ecotourists can come to the park and save both the park and the lions.